Hi there, welcome back Greeks and welcome to CPU. Welcome to CPU Brief History. The history of CPU began with a dream, one man's dream. This story will tell us that dreams do come true. In 1901, Reverend Charles Briggs had a dream and he sought to impress on Dr. T.S. Barber that the school should be started. He dreamt that someday he will be able to establish a school. Two years later, Dr. Joseph Robbins, as well as Dr. Peter, planned that the boys' school should be started. With the four minds, they were able to brainstorm and they had that desire to build a school somewhere, particularly in one place. And in 1904, 11 Baptist missionaries met in Iloilo. They organized the Philippine Baptist Mission Conference, also known as the PBMC. The same year, in December 2, the PBMC voted to establish two schools, an industrial school for boys and a Bible school to train pastors. The same year, Reverend William O. Valentine was elected principal of the two schools. And on October 1, 1905, the Haro Industrial School opened under the principalship of Reverend William O. Valentine. Reverend William O. Valentine is also considered as the first president of CPU. In 1907, the enrollment increased from roughly about 20 to nearly 300 students all of which were working students, and that is the legacy of CPU up to this day. In 1915 to 1916, the first year high school opened with 58 students enrolled, and 50 of them remained that year. Moving forward, in March of 1921, CPU celebrated its first high school commencement with 17 students graduating. That same year, Haro Industrial School was changed to Central Philippine School. And the year after, the name of the school was formally changed to Central Philippine College. And these are the buildings of the then Central Philippine College as of 1940. In June of 1923, a junior college opened classes enunciated by Preston Stewart. By the way, the Stewart Hall is the oldest building in CPU. In June that year, the college was organized into two divisions, the Department of Education and Liberal Arts and the Department of Theology. CPU 
CPU enjoy its greatness, a challenge and trial happened in 1942 to 1945. World War II happened. CPU was devastated and many buildings were destroyed. Many teachers and students as well went to the mountains for refuge. Because of the war, CPU was greatly destroyed with its buildings and fields ravaged by the war. In response, the Northern Baptists raised about $14 million to restore its projects as well as Central Philippine University. After the war, CPU remained strong because of the central spirit. Central spirit is the spirit which unites Centralians all over the world. Despite you are different from each other with your course, with your background, or even your religion, but you, if you have studied at CPU, you have that central spirit in you that enables you to be connected with different alumni all over the world. And of course, with the help of God, we became strong to fight the war and rise to be great once again. And because of that, in April 1, 1953, Central Philippine College became Central Philippine University. Despite the challenges, it remained strong and even became a university. In 1953, it is located in a 24-hectare campus, which is considered the most beautiful in Iloilo. It is blessed with a huge space with luscious green fields and iconic and wonderful architectural designs. It is also suitable for learning because of its wonderful ambience and welcoming presence. And today, CPU is known to be a landmark in the heart of the city. It is also considered a tourism site for visitors to watch and enjoy and experience the beauty and the peace that CPU brings. Let's move further. In the year 1966, CPU Corporation voted Dr. Rex Trilon as its first Filipino president. Two years later, the entire university property was turned over by the Americans, the Filipinos, knowing that Filipinos also has the ability to lead. In 1973, all the members of the Board of Trustees and administrative officials were Filipinos. Moving forward, in February of 1991, another tragedy happened. CPU was affected by a fire incident that burned down the old Rose Memorial Building. But praise God that he's faithful that in 1998, with the help of the alumni, the new Rose Memorial Auditorium rose from the ashes. A better, bigger, and modern building.
CPU remains strong and founded on its motto, which is Shansha at Fides. Shansha means knowledge and Fides means faith because CPU is not only focused on the mental ability or the intelligence of the students for them to be knowledgeable of their future career, but they are also grounded with faith in God. But no matter what challenges they face in the future, they can go on and they can be rooted in a Christian conduct to live a life that is pleasing in the sight of God. And presently, CPU is proud of its colleges and departments, namely the School of Graduate Studies, the College of Agriculture, Arts and Sciences, Business and Accountancy, Computer Studies, Education, Hospitality Management, College of Engineering, Nursing, Medicine, Theology, Law, Pharmacy, and medical laboratory science. It is also proud of its basic education, the senior and junior high departments, as well as its elementary and kindergarten departments. CPU is also proud to be affiliate of the following, the Convention of Philippine Baptist Churches, International Ministries, the United Board for Christian Higher Education in Asia, Association of Christian Schools, Colleges, and Universities, the Philippine Accrediting Association of Schools, Colleges, and Universities, and the Association of Theological Schools in Southeast Asia. CPU is also a proud partner of Iloilo Mission Hospital. It is where is involved in the healing ministry of our brothers and sisters who are sick. It is also where our would-be nurses, doctors, pharmacists, medical technology laborator medical laboratory technologists, as well as radiologists to become better in the future. I'm also proud of the university church as part of the preaching ministry. It is where God's word is being proclaimed and can transform lives. It is also involved in training future pastors in the ministry. Of course, CPU is proud with its sister schools, namely the Filmer Christian University, located in Rojas City, Capiz. It is a year older than CPU, as well as the Suleiman University, located in the heart of Domagate City, Negros Occidental. And a very recent development, we are blessed to have a new campus donated by family of Fortress College, located in Cabancalan City, Negros Occidental. With all of this, CPU is a school to be. At present, in 114 years, CPU has grown from an industrial school with only 17 pupils to a widely known university with an enrollment of over 13,000. The 24 hectare campus, which was originally chosen for its quiet and relative isolation is now a veritable community by itself with more than 40 buildings used for classrooms and support facilities. The last year, October 1, 2019, CPU celebrated its 114th year as a school. And this year, it hopes to celebrate it's 115th year of existence. So despite the challenges like the war and even the fire, and at the present, the pandemic, CPU remains strong. That's why it offers an online learning that wherever you are, 
the comforts of your home can still learn and develop your skills for the future. It is because of God's faithfulness to CPU and God's goodness to CPU. Despite the challenges, he never left CPU, but he is always faithful to the school. We can learn from this in our life also. Despite the challenges that we are facing in life, when we have God, we can go on and be victorious, especially as we are facing this pandemic. We should remain strong, keep safe in our homes, and trust in God that in His time, this pandemic will come to an end soon. And that is the history, the brief history of CPU. God bless Central Philippine University. Welcome to CPU and see you when this pandemic ends face as we meet face to face.